It'll be one to go this time, Fox. Coming to the green, buddy. Coming to the green. Let's go get him. Go, go, go. Take, take, take. Go, 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 go. Get your motor running. Head out on the highway. Tony, this may be a silly question, and I'm sure you'll tell me, but does it help having a race like this to have to really race this hard, manhandle a car, and do it going in? I mean, it's, you know, the Daytona 500 will be the first big race of the season for you. Is it good for a race car driver? It's, it's like when you play tennis. You might not play as well if you're playing against someone that's not pushing you. Yeah, but I think that started last Saturday at the shootout. Um, you know, we, we all were wrestling our cars around Saturday night, too, and that was kind of the – I think that was a little harder to just, you know, kind of get in that mode since most guys didn't do a lot of testing in the spring and, and we didn't do any drafting down here. So it wasn't like two weeks later we come back and everything's ready to go and, and you start. We all kind of started cold turkey, so to speak. And, uh, you know, I think that was kind of the one that, that got us all back in the mode. But, uh, you know, it never hurts at all to, to go out and, and especially, you know, going into tonight. I mean, I'm, I'm going to go back – to the bus and and I'm gonna see the trophy sitting in my motor coach and I'm gonna know that even though we had a disappointing morning and that we finished the day strong and, and that's gonna that momentum will carry over to tomorrow even even though we're gonna be at a big deficit to start with it, it it's that momentum that carries you through the day and and keeps you motivated and keeps you pumped up and I guarantee all of our guys that worked hard all day uh, working on the car we're paying attention to the race and and they're excited that we won tonight too so that just carries the whole team into tomorrow and carries some momentum that we definitely need right now go ahead Hill uh, Tony Hill Overton, WNDB Radio. That was one of the greatest displays of driving skill that I have seen on that last lap, saving the car, preserving the win like you did. Given if this was in the car of tomorrow, now the car of today, over on the cup side, in the same circumstances, would you have been able to have saved the car <laughs> like you did with <laughs> I'm the not, car here today? I'm not so sure those handle quite as good as the nationwide cars do, but still, you know, the... NASCAR's really worked on both packages to, to try to make sure that it's that we're just not easy flat all the way around, that the cars suck up good. And, and uh, you know, any time that you push somebody in the corner like that, it's easy to do it at, at Talladega because of the surface has been repaved. And I know there's been a lot of discussions and, and weighing of the options of whether they should repave this track. I don't think they should. Um, you know, the bumps in it and, and the surface being slicker, it makes uh, it makes us all work hard on making sure our cars drive good, making sure that we're in the right positions on the racetrack. At Talladega, you just go where the empty hole is, uh, and it's just a matter of which line pushes harder than the other. Uh, a guy can line up on there and push you all the way around the racetrack till his water temperature goes through the roof. You, you can't do that here and the guy in front be comfortable. So it's hard enough just to get to him, let alone to, to be the guy that, that has to lead it that way. So I, I don't think with the cup cars we would be able to do that. Any more questions for our championship team? We have one over here from Greg. You both talked about what an honor it is to, you know, you, you're racing for Rick and, uh, and, and vice versa. Uh, obviously, you want Stuart Haas to be successful for years to come. You want to win a lot of races and all that. But Mark Martin talked about one time getting a taste of Hendrick equipment and, and making him start to think that maybe that's a, a place he wanted to go and now he's at. Is it the same with you now? You've gotten a taste of it, and, and you're looking down the future. Maybe the door's uh, a little open now to, to possibly considering a full-time move there uh, on down the road. Well, you got to remember, I've got Hendrick chassis and Hendrick engines and, and Hendrick technical support. So uh, even though I'm not in the same building, I feel like I'm a part of the Hendrick organization, and that's that's the relationship that we have, and that's something I'm really proud of is the fact that you know this is a this has been a huge opportunity for me to have a chance to to be like Rick and to be like Joe Gibbs and Richard Childress and Jack Roush and you know one day you know maybe they'll talk about me like they talk about this guy next to me so uh, you know it, that's that's the part that's exciting to me it, I'm not sure that you know a guy like Mark Martin or anybody you know that I don't know that anybody has really had that opportunity presented to him so I think that's why I'm so excited about it I, I would love to have the opportunity to drive for Rick because obviously. Um, you know, in one weekend, you, you see what the, the reaction is when, when we get in a car like that. But, um, you, you know, it's, it's nice to have that challenge of trying to build your own program and, and follow in, in the footsteps of Rick and some of these other great car owners that have paved the way uh, to try to have that opportunity. I mean, there's, there's, you don't see a lot of new uh, 
you know, guys that, that, that came from the driving side. I mean, Rick came from the driver's side, Richard Childress, Richard Petty. Uh, you just don't see that much anymore, and that's something that, that I'm really excited about, of, of having that opportunity to be a driver and a car owner down the road. Well, I, I think I want to give him a plug for what he's accomplished, though. He came down here, uh, started, ba rebuilt a team, and, uh, and, and I can tell you he's been in the shop over there because I know they was a little nervous when they first put their deal together. But uh, he's, he has busted his butt a lot like Ray, Ray Everham, and what Ray was able to build. I think Tony's going to go down as one of the great owners in the sport. He's got a good partner with Gene Haas and, and, and Haas Automation, and they've had the, the foundation, but he's bringing what they're missing. And uh, he and Ryan are, are, are jacked up, and uh, we've given technology the other way. But we'll get some technology, a lot like the Toyota guys do, and 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 you know so forth and so on to compete with them. But I can tell you, folks, that uh, this guy has been living in a shop because uh, we get calls, and our guys have been over there just checking out what they've done. But what he has single-handedly done with with Bobby Hutchins and Darian and Tony Gibson and Ryan Newman, they're they're going to be a force for us to deal with. Uh, I'm waiting for the day that our guys are going to be complaining, you know. But uh, right now they see that this is going to be a benefit. But he deserves an awful lot of credit to come out of the box and come down here. And uh, his talent is unbelievable. And I'll answer that other question. There are not very many folks who would drive a car in the three with somebody nailing them in the back sideways and not lift and not wreck. And that's all driver. I think Lance will agree to that. Absolutely. He is just That's just talent. You ain't that many not many folks can do that or you he, he wouldn't have won as many races here doing that so he's got this place figured out and he knows what to do but um, he's um, again what he's accomplished you you have to see people from where I've been for the last 25 years and watched watch him come and go money doesn't do it it's dedication and and determination and uh, I, 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 he's going to be one of the greatest owners in the sport I, I because that's all he, he wants to do and thinks about, and that kind of dedication will get him where he needs to be. Okay, we appreciate you all being in here. We enjoyed watching you perform and race out there today, and, and Tony and, and Rick, good luck tomorrow, both of you. Thank you. Right.